quick recap. You were swallowed by a giant magic hall. You did the fight and then you've barricaded yourself in the room using bits of a dead gargoyle. You rested a full 24 hours because Blondel was completely out of magic points and had passed out because he was almost possessed by a ghost. And just as you're packing your camp up, there's a small tippy tap on the door and a voice speaks out to you in trade talk. Paddy, so you knock on the door, you've, you're in your cave, your cave's been swallowed by something and you've crawled out onto a ledge along a corridor and you've come to a door. You heard people talking in trade talk on the other side of the door, so you've rapped on the door and said, uh, hello. So knock yes. on the door and I open it. The door, appears, <laughs> the door appears to be barred on the other side. <clears throat> open the, other the door, side. please. I, I I I cannot get through. Who's that in? I am I'm I'm a hunter. I am I am lost. I I am initiative an elder. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I will. I'll open the door. I'll actually let Feck and Dag have a sniff first because he's he's a good judge of character. Uh, Feck and Dag snuffles against the door as you you shift the bits of the gargoyle and then it. <laughs> He snuffles against the door and he sort of goes, huh? Like, as if you're, you're okay. You, you slide the door open just a fraction and you can see Will Bond on the other side of the door looking uh, afraid and you're a bit, you've been on by yourself for a while, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, so he's looking rather bedraggled and unsure as to what the hell's been happening. Uh, Taking these people who they are. Yeah, the gargoyle that you see on the map there is actually being hacked a bit and is, they've rolled it in front of the door to, as a measure to keep the door shut. You see a duck, a dog, a baboon, three humans, a girl, hey. on, the, on the other side of this door. Are you right, there, hey, uh, Friend. Yes, that's the word. Are you all right? What's your trade talks skill? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay, right. So, yes, you do speak quite heavily with an accent and you can communicate because 30 is like average speaking. All right. Is he from round here? Like? He's up, from up north. He's got a Tarshite accent. The Tarshites are a, a family related to the Sotterites who have been under the lunar rule. Uh, the Tarshites are not actually lunar worshippers. They're subjugated by the lunars, a bit like the, the Gauls in Asterix. I, we were busy killing this woman and like we got swallowed by... I got followed. It's not as much fun as you would think. No, it, not fun. Oh, let's get him in, really. Um, get him. Move some of the more of the gargoyle out of the way. Right, you, you uh, um, pull enough of the gargoyle out of the way uh, so that Will Bond can step into the room, and then place it back. Oh, <laughs> you just to make us move the gargoyle, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> You know the two humanities in the room because Kane is standing there in like black armor covered in death runes, and I think Andy, you've got a death rune tattooed on your beak or something, haven't you? I have indeed. Yes. Have. So there's two very <laughs> obvious humanities that they've got all the goth eye makeup on. They keep telling you how awful their parents are. That so they're obviously they're obviously <laughs> humanities. Nobody understands them. Uh, well, I'll uh, I'll I'll offer some of me. Cured mates from me hunting. Oh, good. People. Yeah, your whole your whole cave was swallowed. So everything that was in your cave sort of came down with you. You grabbed what you could as he scrambled onto the ledge. We're traveling. Uh, I, I I will snack on his meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's traditional to uh, shake someone's hand first, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> you, you basically have breakfast with Will Bond. You introduce to each other. Tell him how Is far you've getting through this dungeon. Well, basically, we're trying to get the feck out, but uh, we're having a few problems because it's not cooperating. Out? Yes. It's the opposite to in. I come with you. Probably a good idea, because I don't think it's going to be dead healthy down here. Does anybody else want to do anything as you uh, snack on cured meats and I'm pack up gonna, for the deer? I'm going to... Let Bob and do my fair share of the pack, and whilst I <laughs> keep an eye out towards the, uh, I go and have a peek into the room where the undead were. Right. So, Ken, you sneak forward. The room has remained unchanged. You did hear somebody knocking on the south door and calling out in a 
a language that you don't speak, but only once. And as yeah. you move down to the room of the sarcophagi, uh, passing all of the corpses of the dead ghouls, you notice that two of the ghoul corpses are actually missing. You do find evidence that they've been dragged off somewhere. I'm going to attempt to track to find out if I can recognise the footprints. Presumably there were some somewhere around it, potentially. And certainly have um, a good tracking, yeah? Oh, man. Yeah, you don't find anything. Don't find anything. What about the rest of you? Move into the room there. This room, they've determined, is of Mostali make, and it's just joined into the air quarter dungeon, as if the whole thing had just been dumped in the middle. The corridors join on normally, but the architecture changes from dungeon floor to Mostali carved stone, and then back to dungeon floor. I look to see who's expecting to go first. In fact, I'll ask. Am um, I wanted with me javelins? Uh, this is probably going to be all right, Lake. You'll be fine. We 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 bend generally just sort of fall in one direction, and inertia takes over. Whoever she. Is. I I'll uh move further in and try and have have a look around this next room. See if there's because we haven't fully been in here before, right? We'll no, we haven't had a good yeah. You did make a search of it, but you didn't really find anything. The one thing you did notice that everything seems remarkably clean for what should be a, a dirty dungeon that like the corpses have started disappearing of the monsters you've killed and the, the, there's no f- detritus on the floor I haven't seen any vermin or anything like that that's running around might have been what? the troll can we heard before though all right or well, i saw didn't i i saw tro- trollkin you if did I you saw the trollkin running away they disappeared into holes yeah. in the brass pipes the brass pipes have got condensation on them and the gurgle slightly if you get close to them and have a listen to them. I check for tracks. All right. Uh, unfortunately, that's a failure. Yeah. Welcome to uh, RuneQuest Rule Twenty, where <laughs> an eighty percent skill you means you fail eighty times out of hundred. <laughs> Will Bond pokes around. You see half a dozen dead ghouls on the floor, and you you poke around a bit, but you don't find anything in- interesting. Is anybody else doing anything? Yeah, I'll look at him tracking badly and uh, I'll have a bash wow call him out yeah yeah track shaman that's what that is (laughs) I am proud of my art (laughs) I also fumbles (laughs) oh my god Uh, McLuffin squelches his way straight over a Ghoul corpse, possibly obscuring any tracks that may have been there. Oh my! I thought I. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you, between the four of you, you've so thoroughly squelched among the guts of the dead ghouls <laughs> that you've obscured any possible chance of ever finding any tracks in this corridor. <laughs> we are terrible at this. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there's no tracks to be seen. You do get into that room. You had done a cursory search before. I think we should maybe do a more in-depth search. I'll keep an eye down the corridor whilst, uh, you know, people search. You search the, the stone caskets. They're all clean inside. There's one skeleton, which I believe I pointed out last week, I may have, and it looks like the bones are being picked totally clean. There's even little gnaw marks on the bones. Is there a skill I've got to investigate? Does it look like they were made by the Trollkin, or was that made by... Do the, do the, the, the bites look like ghoul-sized, or are the smaller bite marks? Uh, give me, give me any skill. Yeah, I'll do. That's fine. Right, Shame. I failed. Of course you did. It's just that's how tonight's going to go, boys and girls. It is. It's definitely some humanoid teeth marks, but you can't discern whether it was the Trollkin or the ghouls. Isn't no, Bobbin wearing a Daniel Boone hat made out of tiger skin? And, he is. And a towel wrapped round him. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. Does he look like he needs uh, furs? He's got his own. <laughs> you do find it unusual because you've never actually seen a tiger. He's wearing a strange stripy orange and to black fair, fur hat. We did give him armour way back. It was a two-point helmet. 
slash chest and a three point abdomen sleeves and leggings i think it was like yeah hardened but... leather and then cobble or something. that was left oh, back in his room wasn't it because he was he was kidnapped in the middle of the night that is a good point you are yeah you are 100 percent correct on that. i've got furs does he want furs do, do, do you need furs yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take first. He just brought scampers up. Where's he gone? I don't know. You moved him and then he disappeared. I don't know. I, I saw him drag down oh, towards yeah. us and then he just flung off. Oh, there yeah. he is. <laughs> he, he was hiding behind one of the caskets. He's a small uh, baboon, equivalent to sort of a, a, an eight year old human child. And he follows Cain about. And it basically, he seems to be his ward or something. I like to think of him as a friend, but, you know. Does he need fur? He could use furs. He doesn't have any uh, coverings right now. Other than, uh, like, a towel wrapped around him and a Tiger Daniel Boone hat. Let's not forget the Tiger Daniel Boone hat, which actually belongs to the duck, but he's and he's lent him it as he has no skin. Well, I give him one of my furs. He fashions himself a crude garment out of your furs and... Says thank you very much in heavily accented trade talk. Not as accented as yours, to be fair, but quite accident. <laughs> I don't speak as well as baboon. <laughs> That's true. Ah, it's all right. It, it, we've taught a baboon. We haven't got a chance to teach you now. Right. I will say, lads, stay back a bit. I'll have a pork boat. If I get in any trouble, I'll show. And I will sneak up to the T-junction and have a look around the corner. The corridor goes south for six metres and then the cave floor changes to a strange cobbled street kind of affair. You see a wall on the left-hand side and the just at the edge of your light, a pillar with a carved spherical orb on the top. As you step across, you see... Bloody hell, I succeeded in a roll. You hear grinding from up ahead, the grinding that you heard of the rocks and the buildings being ground up. But you also think you hear voices from up ahead. Whereas down south you see the cobbled floor literally transmutes from a dungeon floor into a cobbled floor and there's a large archway. And on either side of the archway is a big pillar. It's reminiscent of the lunar architecture. Can you make me a power times five roll? And also, McLovin, can you make me a power times five roll, please? Will Bond, can you make me an Earth Rune roll, please? Okay. Cronan, McLovin, yeah. You feel a sense of peace coming from the south. That's a good place to go. It's not. I mean, okay, we're going. All right. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I just remember that he's not um, a big fan of peace. Just a. Uh, we should head south. Oh, the dog. Second dag. Well, I'll pop my head round the corner first before I step out. You see a magnificent arch. It turns out to be a facade of a magnificent villa. The front is mostly intact and must once have been the home of a wealthy noble or provincial governor. The again, the decor looks old in style but it's actually not worn very much considering you're in the bottom of a dungeon that is a little bit odd the doors were torn off the hinges and lie just in front of the arch will bond and cruden have crept forward what are the rest of you lot doing i'm just gonna move up i'm not doing this sneaking thing let's go all right so you just, <laughs> you just start kim roughly shoves you all out of the way uh, and stomps down into the center hey there is enough space in each square to move between people okay we've already covered this there is i'm gonna be but you, you're a humanity oh. you're like get out of my way i'm a nice person it's as if the front of the villa and the cobbled street that it was on has been torn up and is somehow in the bottom of this dungeon. I am going to step forward and look through the arch, cautiously, because I would like my head not to be taken. The inside of the room is partially walled to the north and south if it's open into the villa, and the half of the columns are protruding from the walls. Inside is an enormous stone statue, which... Will Bont recognises as an elder. Can I do a, a worship an elder then? You can. 
no, no. <laughs> and, Nalva, and Nalva's not listening today. And who's carrying Tort and who's just staggering around in the dark? I noticed McLovin's right at the back there around the corner in case the, the statue right. explodes. With his fingers in his ears. Well, one steps forward. You feel an immense sense of peace in this area, Will Bond. You reckon it was some kind of place of worship for an Alda or an older version of an Alda. There are several versions of the Earth Goddess. Well, uh, I'll go worship. So it would just be cruel to and be like, I explodes. Right. Will Bond just walks forward and uh, gets down on his knees and starts praying in front of the statue. You all stand and watch expectantly. He has still not exploded. <clears throat> we have such small amount of expectation, isn't it? It's like, it's a statue. It's going to eat. I mean, that's always the expectation with Rich. So what do you do? I will search the area. Maybe a search will. I'll help him. I will stay out here and keep watch up the corridor. Shoot the form, everybody feels everything. Not quite. We're walling. The first thing you notice is there is moss on the statue, but <clears> it's <throat> only on one side to the north. And on the back wall behind the statue, you see the ragged remains of a painting. Do I recognise the painting? No, I don't want to be there one, but... The painting shows a picture of a mansion by the the look of the front gate, it's part of the mansion that you're standing in. And the background shows that the mansion once stood against a wood and the sun is behind it. So presumably, if there's moss on the north side of this statue, it was once outside. Well, mm. Yeah. And this may well have been an open courtyard rather than actually inside a building. That seems like a reasonable <laughs> supposition. It's like this was like a city or something, or something like that, that's like crumbled down into the earth via a similar thing that happened to us. Tunnels connecting them are like, just dirt, you know? Oh, that big scary hole with teeth has eaten various bits of buildings and recompiled them into this what we're walking around. Can I try and make sense of it? You can try and make sense of it, but there's no just straight roll where I just go, right, here's the plot, lads. I didn't want the plot. I just <laughs> wanted anything. <laughs> We've never had a plot and we're never going to know the plot. I was going to say, I'll search the room while everyone's playing with the statue. I'll carefully search the room. You search the room, you don't find anything unusual on the walls or around the half pillars, which is sunk into the rock. When you come to the statue, you do notice there's a very fine crack between the floor and the pedestal. Hey, McLovin, lad. Aye. Uh, do you want to have a look at a crack? Oh, he's never turned that down before. <laughs> I'll point out the, the crack to our resident um, reliever of... All right, I'll go have a look. <laughs> With every step, he winces his eyes as if he's expecting an explosion as he walks across the room. I'll get out my... Um, water skin and pour a little amount of water where the crack it does just seep down the crack. It does. I'll search around the base. Does it look like these statues? Is there any mar marks? You know, like as if it's been twisted, twisted off its axis or something. You're not sure. Will Bond, you notice very slight scraper marks that are sort of going in a circular direction around the statue. It looks as if it sort of rotates around. Goddess, she moves. I start see if I can push. Ninety-three. No, you cannot move it by <laughs> your. You cannot move it by yourself as you match your strength against the statue's size. I'll give her a hand. The two of you shove it. It does move a fraction. It seems to rotate. It ro sort of rotates on its axis, but it's as if there's a pin under one foot. So, with some strength, it'll rotate out, but it'll spin out a bit. You guys need help. <laughs> They're all standing there pushing, going. Anyone yeah, got a. I'll go because over. And we help. use this thing called. It's a new thing. It's called a lever. Right. Well, once there's more than three of you on the statue, you manage to heave, and with some difficulty, the statue rotates on its on its most southern foot, revealing a small, 
a, a safe box underneath. There's a small pool of water on the top of it. It looks like something that maybe you could devise open or possibly smash it open with an axe or a mace or something. I'm not smashing that open with an axe or a You guys... I am under a of stealing um, from the temple. Even from an alder, no. Although we could ask nicely. Is it stealing, though, if we take it with the intention of returning it to the nearest temple once we get out of there? Mm. And you know Very what good I point. like? I could be rescuing it. Aye, and, and you know what my memory's like? <laughs> I will remember. There's always one. You fumble at the lock, but sadly it's beyond your mega skills. Can someone do locks? I'll look at McGlovin. I know a lad. I know a lad who knows a lad. I know his mate. I can give it a go. Check it for traps first, though. It appears to be untrapped. With a curse, he, he fails to pick the lock. Now jammy it with a javelin. You, you, uh, I'm sure McLovin's got a crowbar, haven't you? Oh, yes. Oh, you can of get it wrong. Oh, I've got one as well. But... Right, who's who's going to crowbar it? I mean, I've got the crowbar. I'm not crowbarring it. I don't <laughs> mess do with it. Yeah, you do that. If anybody needs to borrow a three-pound lump, I've got one of them. Okay, so Wilbur grabs the crowbar off Kane and with some difficulty manages to lever the door open and it opens with a loud crack. Inside is a small square opening. There's a pile of coins in the bottom and on each face of the opening is a earth symbol, which is just a square. Sometimes the bury the offerings to her underneath the statues of her because obviously they have to be returned to the earth so it's likely that this was a, a trove of coins that were offered to her and buried under the statue if indeed the statue was an outdoor statue which you surmise so but would it be ungodly to take them or would it, it be it would be ungodly for you to take them yes right, well, uh, these must stay here they're um, offering to goddess I look across at McLovin and wink <laughs> I start pushing the statue back. Right, he, uh, or failing to. He strains I'll push with, it back. He strains with all his might, but with help, pushes the statue back, which sort of grinds back into place. I'm just on my way to the scary corridor. I was just saying, I'm gonna head up to that corridor as well. Okay, you, you head up to the scary corridor. You Does shine. Sorry, does anybody want this painting or am I just leaving it here? Take a photo of it. The canvas out. Uh, the, the painting seems to have been a clue that the thing didn't used to be on the orientation it is and thus may have given you a clue that the statue would rotate. Ah, I'll put it back just to confuse other people. Put it back upside down. So your light shines about that far. Most of you, all you can hear is the grinding of rock ahead. Blondel, your keen ears, uh, pick out some shrieks and squeals of glee in a high-pitched voice and then a disappointed wail. But as you move forward, just as the lights play into the edge of the cavern, all of that stops. I, I think I can hear some creatures further on in the corridor. Do I, do I recognise what they sound like? Have I heard anything like them before? Blondel lays his hand on your shoulder uh, and pulls you to a halt and says, Stop, I hear something up ahead. The lantern is just playing on the exit, which appears to go onto a bridge over the cavern. Well, I made my intro, so do I recognise what they are? Uh, you'd think they could be Trollkin. I say I can hear Trollkin ahead. That makes sense, because I've seen some here as well. Will Bond pulls his javelin out. What do the rest of you do? Uh, I'll get me ball and get ready to fire it. But they're troll kin. If there's no trolls, there might not be a big issue. I shall draw my sword just in case. I'll uh, pull my uh, shield and javelin and... Push ahead a bit, then I guess if we're wanting. 
Let's see. Okay, you put your sword and shield into readiness. I shall ready my sword and shield. I'll get my shield off my back as well. I'm going to cast protection four, and then, lads, I think I'm going to try and talk to them, like, you know, before we murder them to death. Sure. If you want to try that, then go for it. If they try, you know, to eat us or anything, just start shooting them. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm going to step forward and say in trade talk, because, you know... All right there, like, we didn't want any trouble, but uh, what the hell's going on around here? Right, a strange sight assaults your senses. You see out into the cavern ahead... A stone bridge crosses over the buildings in the rubble. And on the stone bridge are eight trolken who are holding slings and long, really long, like 20, 30 foot poles with like hooks on the end. And apparently overseeing them are a bunch of much larger humanoid figures. They've, they've stopped as if they've just noticed you and you've caught them off guard. And they're kind of like hanging over the. They've got these poles hanging over near the foot of each truck, and it appears to be small piles of things, food, clothes, like odd shiny bits. It's as if they're pulling them up from the rubble that's been ground up below, and they're standing on a two meter wide bridge. All right, lads. The truck and looks scared at the sight of the light. However, the larger humanoids. Which have got definite trollish features about them. Turn to face you. Uh, they slap the two trollmen nearest them. I, I'll I'll just lob a javelin into one of those. Yeah. We didn't want any trouble. Right, you say you <laughs> won't have any trouble. <laughs> Will Bond throws a javelin. I was just about to roll me some sweet ass notes rolls because somebody's carrying the death metal, aren't they? She Yeah, and what happens when trollish folk see people are carrying iron? Because Earl's got an iron spear point. Cool. Well, goodbye, Corda. Um, it was nice knowing you. I, He's say, a anyway. I tried to be good about this. I tried to be peace. They haven't instantly spotted the fact you're carrying an iron spear, but they're not responding to you in trade tongue. They're, they're sort of grunting and shouting and slapping the trollkin, who seem to be carefully pulling out their slings. As normal talking are, they always look terrified of everything. We can do this two ways. We can talk about it, or... And then this javelin flies past. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, and just as the javelin whistles overhead, the one at the front shouts, This owl patch! Uh, lisping somewhat round these enormous tusks he's got in his mouth. I guess we're going to roll some initiatives then. Am I allowed to move back after I've thrown the javelin? You can. You can move back two squares. Right, so which one are you targeting there, Pad? Because um, you're, you're thrown first, then we go into initiative combat order. Uh, all right. Uh, the upright one of the four. The four large humanoids with trollish features, the upper right. Right, okay, make your javelin roll. This is probably going to hit, I would imagine. It nicks his right arm, and he takes a minor wound. He howls in pain. And the world slows music style as everybody goes into initiative order. Kian. Does Rewalen look like he's got like a ranged weapon out at all? No, he hasn't. I've got my short sword drawn and sort of hidden behind me show. Well, I want to scoop four squares slide in front of him and try and shoot that Trollkin. Say shoot, I mean throw a javelin at the Trollkin that's front right. Okay. I should have a line of sight of him, right? Yeah, you've got a clear, clear shot at him. Five will, points to the right oh, leg. A nasty gash down its leg and it, it howls and dances about in pain. And now I'll put my hand on my broadsword as if to draw it for next. Okay. Crodan, you're on next on 23s, along with Rualin, so either of you can go first, to be honest. I am going to shoot one of the big guys because they're the ones in... Yeah, okay. But if you get abdomen or leg for hit location, you'll hit the Trollkin instead, because they're standing behind the Trollkin. 
Oh dear, what a pity. Never mind. Oh, it in the right leg. Right, so you shoot a trolkin. Randomly, the left trolkin, an arrow in the abdomen. And he howls and he collapses to the ground as both of his legs stop working. The poor little fecker. Crodan, do you want to move? Or are you holding a second shot for the end of the round? I'm holding a second shot for the end of the round. Rewalin. Right, I'd better fire up the fire blade. So you oh, succeed. Shot out bursts into flame, illuminating the corridor in bright flickering flames. Oh, I shall step forward too. Next up is Blondel. So I'll just... Um... Keep behind Cain, the Death Knight. Death Knight, ooh. I like oh, well, that. I mean, yeah, my support. <laughs> Eddie. They are pulling out a variety of broadswords, medium shields, the big ones. The Trollkin have slings and small clubs. Do the uh, bigger ones look vaguely trollish? They do look vaguely trollish. They're not full trolls, though. Possibly tusk riders, but normally you would see tusk riders carrying lances, riding pigs. These seem to be carrying armour, and they're equipped as if they're foot troops. How odd. Nothing about this place makes any sense. Will Bond. Right, I'll chuck another javelin, then. Uh, it's an impale in the right arm. Which one are you aiming at? The same one. Right, the javelin goes clean through his arm and sticks in, and he howls in pain. Bobbin, is Bobbin doing anything? Um, can say if you've got speed dart, can you cast speed dart on someone else's arrow? Yes, as long as yes, you touch. it's touch, so you can run over and touch somebody. Okay. Um, Bobbin's going to attempt to cast speed dart. Okay, so yes, you cast speed dart. Dave, your arrow gleams and looks sharp and sparkly. McLovin, right at the back for a change. Is any Trollkin at the front who isn't injured? The bo- the two at the front are both injured. Can I get line of sight and cast disruption on the, any either of them in the second rank? Yes, but you're going to have to move forward. Make your spirit magic roll. You call upon the power of the spirits. All right, you succeed. 28, definitely. Right, yep, yeah, roll your d3 damage. Three points of damage to the abdomen. Nice. He's really badly hurt in the abdomen, but he's still just barely standing. Okay, Trollkin, begin to fire slings. Crodan first. Quaktavish, it hits on the left arm, but that's why you're carrying your shield, so it ricochets off your shield. The ones behind. Crodan, miss. Quaktavish, miss. The large troll like beings are, are slapping them and pushing them forward. And they go next. Uh, the front one has a bow. It fires a Croden. Uh, a large, ugly thing it is. Crits in the left leg, Croden. No. 14 in the left leg. Ouch. Goes right through. Goes through the fleshy bit. I want nine. You can use your luck thing. Can't you use it to get it to re-roll the hit? Wouldn't that be? Yeah, yeah. you can get, but... it, get it to re-roll the hit. Yeah, re-roll the hit. That's safer. It's going to be a yeah. head now. Oh, it would have been as well. <laughs> right, so... Okay. At the, wow. at the last second, it looks like it's going to shoot you in the leg, but it's it's it shifts and it aims for your head. The arrow whistles past your head, narrowly missing you by a fraction of an inch. I look at it in an annoyed tone of voice. The badly injured one is trying to pull the javelin out of his arm. Because he can't heal, he screams with pain and... Oh, zero one. He literally tears it out, blood fountains, and he's holding the javelin in his hand. He's that hard, he's going to throw it back at you. <laughs> uh, it's good, I'll put it back. He's so hard, he's like... Urgh. So let's have a go. He throws it at... Uh, highs Crodan, lows Quactavish. How does that sound? Ooh! <laughs> Sounds fine to me. Crodan again. They, they don't um, like you, Crodan. I can't talk. To, I'm not talking to people anymore. I'm just shooting them in the. <laughs> I might have cramped your style a little bit. I'm punished for being the good guy. Ooh, succeeds. 11 hit in the left arm. Goes clean through. What armor you got in your left arm? 
nine. So ten, eleven, two damage. And that's only because he rolled a crit, so he tears it out of his own arm, blood spurts, and then throws it back at you. Doing a minor hit to you. Tell us when it's my turn to fire me bow, because I've got my last shot. You're so angry now. Crodan first, I'll... then Will Bond to do. Yes, I am going to shoot him in his head. Well, this, no, I'm just going to shoot This one says a step backwards and shove the Trollkin in front. These two, they're like, you, get out there and fight for us. Shooting at the one who shot me. That would be the northernmost one who's got barely any hit points left, but enough to rip a spear out of his own arm and throw it back at you. You shoot low, it goes into a trollkin. You actually kill the injured one by failing to hit the other guy. I didn't feel hit, that was what I was trying to do. Yeah, that's exactly what you were trying to do. So you, you kill one of the trollkin. He goes, Aah! and then collapse. Will Bond, your final javelin throw. Your javelin has come back at you and has whistled and, and crashed onto the corridor behind Blondel. I'll go for the other um, polish one. Okay. Ten damage to the right leg. It's a strong hit in the leg. I'm not making a trollkin. It does make a trollkin, you're right. Uh, so you shoot the trollkin in front of him. Even the trollkin, very badly wounded. His leg stops working and he falls on the floor. Right, I believe everybody is done for this round, yes? Yes. I can <clears throat> use my bow now, can I? You can, but you're trying to shoot past people. You've got, you've got a 50-50 chance of hitting somebody or hitting your target. Can I possibly move free, fire, and then move back one? Yeah, I'll allow it. Um, aiming at the troll, well, the north troll, you know, oh, well, the north um, troll rider. Yeah, I miss them anywhere. Even with the 15% button? Yeah, you do. Wow. Okay, that was a completely wasted speed dart. It just shoots off into the into the darkness. Okay. Round two, Kian. Um, what weapons are the big ones, Susan? Nice. They've got it? a self bows, broadswords, and medium shields. Well, I'm gonna attempt to cast protection on myself. Not in my game, you're not. Not in your game. I'm not. You don't lose any magic points if you fill them, but you can try again next turn. Um, you can still. I don't want to get in the way if people are shooting and stuff, so I'm gonna. I guess I'll just wait. Um, I well, you notice that I'm starting to pull out my spear and shield. I've had enough of this shooting business. Someone's getting stuck. Yeah, so that, is that your action? Are you finished? Yeah, I'll just, I, I want to get protection on myself before I push it anyway, because it looks nasty. Crudan, you're pulling out your spear and shield. I'm pulling out as I'm running forward. Okay, uh, you can't attack this round, but you can move forward as you're running forward, pulling your weapons out. Right, you run forward, the troll can spot the iron in your hand uh, and start screaming uh, uh, and they start trying to back away but the two tusk riders start slapping them and, and actually sticking the swords in and stabbing them forward i can cast blade sharp as i'm moving can't i mm -hmm. i'll blade sharp up as i'm running in okay make a spirit magic roll yep your iron spear gleams with evil light quite tavish your fire blade is up and you're ready to rock and rolling well let's go and do a bit of rock and rolling then and I shall go for that trolk, and it's right in front of me. With a, a battle quack, presumably. You, oh, uh, yes, definitely. A great battle quack. The mad humanity duck with a fire blade charges in uh, and <laughs> and stabs a trolk in through the leg. So you cut all the way through, and the trolk falls to the ground. You almost sever his leg, and he falls to the ground dead. Mm. Jolly good. Blondel. All right. Pull the fire over. He should be able to fire over it. Yeah, yeah, he's only like three foot tall. I'll go for the um, troll rider again, the north one. Okay. Go ahead. You fire. And you miss. Suspect that your training forty is not in balls, my friend. Will Bond. No, Somebody's it's... injured, aren't they? Fine. Do a heal. Oh, you've only got ten power, right? You uh, attempt to no. invoke the spirits, but unfortunately... You're not powerful enough. Okay, no. You're very intelligent, but not very spiritual. And that's your turn. Bobbin. I should prepare more for his turn. Okay, I'm gonna. He's gonna scamper up a little bit. Not too much, because he doesn't want to get 
right in the way. And is the southern um, Trollkin damaged? Or, is the, uh, or either of the Trollkin damaged? The at southern all? Trollkin is damaged. Its leg is. It's badly hurt and it, it can't stand on its leg. That's why it's got a pink dot. You throw a disrupt at it. Okay. Almost dead, you can probably see. Okay, McLovin at the back there. I'll uh, move up and uh, move my four, and then if I can get line of sight on one of these bigger guys, I'll cast Disrupt again. You succeed. Please move all your D100 to overcome its power, and if you've overcome its power, you get a power gain tick, remember. It succeeds. Right. The injured one. Roll a D6. Three points of damage. That is enough. Right, the abdomen with a scream of pain. Its grollies explode inside of its <laughs> joint loincloth, and it slowly staggers to the side, and then cinematically in slow motion tumbles off the side of the bridge and disappears into the grinding rocks below. Ah, <laughs> oh, get out! And Trollkin, right from the ground. That one doesn't attack because he tries to crawl back, but the Tusk Rider standing behind him kicks him in the side of the head to, to send him forward again. The other one, however, does attempt to fire a sling. Again, we're going to go high, low, <coughs> high is Croden. Croden again. Those Trollkin just love you. They love you. And it fails. Uh, it, it's it's whining, it's looking at Earl's iron-tipped spear, and they're trying to back up, but the Tusk Riders are like like kicking them and stabbing them in the back. They've pulled the boars out, and they're stabbing them in the back with the arrows to keep them going forward. Yeah, tusk Rider, boar. Oh, this time, Andy, he shoots at you with a boar. I should try and get me shield in the road of it. Four points in the chest. Right, that barely, that barely scratches your armour, so... Yeah, just dinks and bounces off. I'll yeah. just look at them. Yeah, so they're giving up on... Uh, it looks like they're giving up on boards and starting to pull out melee weapons. The two at the back have pulled out broadswords and shields and stepped forward, but they're driving the trolls before them. They're sort of stabbing them in the back with their own broadswords. Now, next up, uh, end of round. Kane. Um, can I just add something to that round, I I uh, meant to do. You know, I said I didn't have blade sharp. Can I have cast mobility? In mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. All right. All right. So you do that wait, 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 as your feet go really fast, Fred Flintstone style. Seems to be enough in the melee, so I'll just. Uh... I'm going to make a space for you, don't worry. Right. Now that you two have come out into the front, you can see that this, this bridge is over the other side of the giant teeth to the north, and it continues down. Ooh. Uh, and disappears off into the dark, the semi darkness. That's interesting. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, move up there behind. Forgot his name already. And then disrupt the Will closest Bond. one, the one that's on the floor. Yes, sorry. Will do. You're disrupting the Trollkin on the floor. Yes. Okay, go on. No good stretch of the imagination then. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta kill him, you know. Not with that rule, I'm not, but. No. In general, the idea is we kill them. In general, is the idea you kill them. Okay, Crodan, you're up, okay. you've got mobility on, and you've got I a very going nasty. To the, I'm gonna jump up on the side of the bridge, run along the side of the bridge with mobility, and attack this guy here. Right, I am going to need a dex. Lot a, stupid roll. Yes, I know. A, a, a jump roll. <laughs> Jesus. This is where Earl misses his jump roll and fumbles, goes straight over the top. Oh, well, we're in for some fun. I, oh, I missed it, but do I get a bonus from having mobility? Because I just. No, you don't get a bonus from mobility. You could have invoked a passion, like oh, an passion. air rune. Or something. Can I, can I do? <laughs> yeah, you can. You can use your passions or your rune to get a bonus on your skills, Paddy. By the way, Earl gets a thirty percent bonus to his jump roll 
right? So yes, you jump up on the side with <laughs> with with startling alacrity. You run across along the end of the bridge, might a dex times five roll, and you can have the bonus to your air run because it's the same manoeuvre. So dex times five, but you've got a plus thirty percent. You successfully run along the bridge as all of the trolls and stare on in uh, horror. And then, then you... I am going to do the, you know, the Achilles scissor attack with the spear. I'm ah. going to do as I jump again to land behind them. Say, I told you I'd make your space, Ken. Right, go. Roll us a jump roll. Roll us another jump roll. Please fumble. Please fumble. As, as Earl Swan dives into the into the that. teeth. You got plus thirty again. God. Yeah, because that's exactly Amazing. right. Exactly. So you you, so ju- I'm you back jump. It, land on the feet and stab him on the way down. Yeah, go this on. This is where. I... Make a stab <laughs> roll. <laughs> oh, that's the nice in the world. Right, you stab him in the left leg. He attempts to dodge out of the way. He's too surprised to use his shield, as as you would be. Like I don't think anybody was expecting that. To be fair, no, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay. Neither was I, Mister Curd. To me, right, he fills his dodge roll. However, the spear just rakes across armor, and then uh, you think it hits skin. But it hasn't penetrated. That's all. But everybody's like, what the fuck just happened? Right. <laughs> Quite to... tavish. Move one forward and attack that troll in front of me. Right, so you slash it in the arm, uh, causing it to break pitifully in in a minor slash to the right arm. Blondel. Normally the duck just runs up Paddy and kills everything in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Move forward one, and I shall hit the f- the the top tusk rider near um the far northern tusk rider. Right, we well, the, um... the one near the one near Yeah. Okay. Unless unless you're channeling Shashelian. Oh, he fumbles. Let me oh, roll. Ode to ode to a fumble. Let me count the ways. Are you carrying a shield, Dave? You, yeah, it's on my back. Yes, the shield straps Clang. break, fall, and roll off the side of the bridge. Well, a power times one look roll. The shield like disappears off the side of the bridge. If you roll at power times one, you manage to catch it with your foot. So you're then standing on one foot, holding your shield against the wall while aiming a bow. <laughs> you look a bit like a cupid. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave lashes out with his foot, shouts, bugger it, as his shield bounces and then bounces straight off the side of the bridge and disappears into the rocks. You see it get crushed instantly and splinters of wood fly up. That'll teach you. Will Bond. I'm going to chuck me uh, javelin at the nearest troll-like humanoid. Yeah, that's the last one you've got, isn't it? All right, so you wind back, you throw... Eesh. Oh, 22 critical it hits the leg though. so or no that trolling in front of him is lying on the ground so that does hit sticks straight through his leg oh caramba Oof. Be a chance to impale the trolling behind him as well the full impale through the leg all the way through he's, his legs stopped working he's got a dex times five roll off all of the ground special it's like is that all of you have got <laughs> You have severely hurt him. The spear has gone straight through his kneecap and is like hanging halfway through while he he stands on one leg. He Very good. He does not look happy. Bobbin. Um, McLovin did disruption last, right? So he's just sitting there with his little wizard finger out. Yes. And uh, Bondle, did he try again with his bow? He did. He, however, made such a hash of it, he fumbled. Which Trollkin died? Was it the... Like, which one took the crit? Basically? The Southernmost one has got one hit by... Oh, he's going to catch a disruption from Bulbin, I think. He's not going to catch a disruption. And right, McLovin two. the Brave. McLovin, McLovin, he is the bravest of the warriors at the back. Oh, what about my 
axe and shield and I will move forward. I'm just wondering if Kane's going to charge forward or not because I don't want to get his road. He looks like he's going to charge. He's in a chargey Kane mood, aren't you? Yeah, I'm in a Kane mood. Yeah. Right, Poo Trotten tries to surrender to Andy but is beaten about the head by said Tusk Rider, like drawn blood. Uh, and so he, he takes a swing at you with his uh, Mrs. Andy. Doesn't even come near you. Looks Quite like a bit of them trolling. Looks like he desperately wants to get away from you. To be the wounded one on the floor tries to crawl away, but the Tusk Rider actually kicks him off the bridge. So he he falls to his death over the bridge. With a, oh God, Charming. As he falls, he goes and makes this pathetic noise, uh, and and then is ground up to beef. In the rocks below. <laughs> Killed by his own side. The other Trollkin uh, pushed forward. You're moving away from me for some reason. Yeah, because you're the one that's holding iron. Tusk Riders are not vulnerable to iron. Trollkin are terrified of it. So you're surrounded by Trollkin, Andy. You're about the same height, so it's a fair fight, except these are basically in such bad shape that they don't even come near. You can tell they're not even trained. They're just swinging sticks about to, to stop from being beaten. And uh, next up, oh, we have... oh everybody feels sorry for Tusk Rider. Oh, and he's just standing back waiting. The other two, oh, uh, have they pulled their weapons out last turn? They turn and face you. I'll turn around, I'll say, Hello, ladies. They go, Ah, you son of a bitch. And then I'll, I'll, I will point beneath the floor and go, You, you, laces. <laughs> you, laces are done. <laughs> And see if he's if he's tough enough to look down. We'll battle of wits him to death. First one takes a swipe at you with a broadsword, failing. Of course he fails. Second one takes you a swipe with his broadsword, hits in the head for fourteen damage. Uh, uh, I'm dead. No wait, am I? You can try and parry or dodge. You know. Oh yeah, parry. I think I parry might about that. be. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was a crit. That would have been a bad hair day. No, uh, your armour protects. Because my shield certainly doesn't. God. No, you fail to get your edge of your shield on, and you take 14 to the head. How much armour have you got? I've, I'm on zero. I've now got... I've got... In my head, I have eight points and six hit points. The sword strikes you in the head, and uh, you see at the back of the room, Crodan collapses to the ground unconscious maybe dead Point to be fair that's why I guess for being an idiot and charging into like all trying of... to make space right was the roy make me a uh, power times five roll please crud is there a thing for you I can't roll a dice today success though 80% the other one was about to stab you but instead it kicks you off the bridge but you roll down, because the other side is an incline, you roll down, and instead of fall, rolling off the edge, you roll against the wall here with your legs dangling off the end and come to rest. And then the the turn, because obviously there's just a big spurt of blood uh, from your head, and it looks like you've gone down, and the turn around and, and march forward. You're literally hanging halfway off the edge of this cliff with your legs dangling over the cliff. Precarious it at the best of times. I'll just be sleepy. End of round. Kian. Crowden hangs precariously, yeah. inches from death. Well, let's go save idiot boy. <laughs> Move forward and uh, ch chop into this troll gun that's in front of us, basically. Wow. As you roll a special, which is a slash on the troll gun's yeah. leg, Kian just casually walks forward. His sword licks out like a giant metal tongue. Uh, the Trotten's leg just flies off. Ooh, he falls to the ground. Um, that made me point. He falls to the ground. He sl starts sliding over the edge of the bridge, but then like catches himself and he's hanging over the edge of the bridge with one leg. Blood pouring from his poor beaten body. Is there anything else you want to do this round, or are you done? No, that's me. That was, that was yeah. Crodan, you stay unconscious and bleed. Rowalan. Right, I'll have a go at that trunk and in front of me. Okay. Is that a success from you, Andy, on the left arm? Oh, yes, it is indeed. 
again another slash its arm hangs limply but it's still gone uh it, it's trying to back up but it's being pushed forward by the other truck and they're trying to they're just trying to get out of the way you basically blondel of sven's town are you going to jump on the edge now and run along and then try and heal croden um no i'm going to try and kill um the tusk rider at the, the north far north tusk rider you pull your bow out you let fly an arrow and he succeeds hooray hitting in the abdomen but he actually shoots the troll in front of him who takes a minor injury and is quite upset by it so you shoot the, the trollkin instead on in the left leg so there's a surprise there huh? left leg uh, he howls uh, will bond you have exhausted your supply of javelins i believe yes so it slings or it's one kind of army one-handed spear mm -hmm. you can pull your spear out boar bon okay boar bon oh fuck it he's gonna move up and disrupt that fucking trolley <laughs> the one that's hanging by a precarious yeah. little roof please All right oh, please bobbin he succeeds go on overcome his power he successfully overcome the Trollkin's power. The Trollkin is hanging by a thread. <laughs> Too damaged. He slips downwards. One arm slips free. And he's literally hanging by one clawed hand off the bridge. Uh, McLovin. You're, unfortunately, you can't really get past. Unless you do Unless something Unless I run clever. on the side. I'm absolutely up for you trying that, like. Would I be able to try and roll on something to get a bonus to climb up and run across the side? Passion. Yeah, a rune, a passion. Movement 76 in power rune affinity. You've got 76 in the movement rune, yeah, go for it. But remember, you can't feel that like you just have. So you get minus 10%. Where, where has all this come from? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? No, no. Make a jump roll at minus ten percent. You would, oh. you would have succeeded. You jump up and get your foot on, but your foot slips and you fall back down into the square you were in. It's very sad, but that's what happens. <laughs> that's the saddest thing. It, 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 it literally, he gets one foot up and it just sort of slides, and he just sadly slides back down as if he's like, <laughs> it looks kind of abashed. <laughs> Right, oh so that ends your turn. Hey, it could have been worse. You could have fumbled, gone over the top and just been ground to death in the grinders. Right. right, Trollkin. Only because they have to, Andy, he's going to smash you with his... No, of course. Failure on the first one. And the, you're the only person that's in melee range with the second Trollkin. Failure again. The the they keep looking back over their shoulder, so they're not concentrating on hitting you uh, and getting stabbed from behind by the Tusk Riders. They're bastards. And Tusk Riders can't do anything. He shoves that Trollkin forward, dislodging this Trollkin that's hanging off, who also screams and falls to his death. He steps forward and gets within melee range of you, so he can take a swing. By sacrificing yet another Trollkin, the Trollkin screams pitifully and plunges to its death. It's good, my javelin's getting closer. I want that back. Oh, yes, he's the one with the javelin impaled in his knee, isn't he? So, what I need to roll is... He succeeds in yanking the javelin out, but he, he still can't move his leg, so he will not move forward. Uh, he throws the javelin down on the bridge and attempts to heal himself. And he fails. Excellent, right. Fail forward, that's what I see. The other two guys can't get at you um, unless they push the trolling off the bridge. Now they're not going to get. New round, Kane. Well, we've got more meat in front of us. So this one pays the iron price. The bronze price? Bronze price, I suppose. Okay. Not quite the bronze it looks price. Up with bronze it looks up with watery wide eyes as this great sword bears down upon it. Uh, a, a single tear rolls out of one of its eyes. Go on, go on roll the hit. I just did. <laughs> I just rolled really badly. Uh, you stab it in the abdomen. It still is quite a bad wound for a trollkin. Uh, it tries to get out of the way. Desperately. Failing. You stab it in the abdomen. It 
lets out a pitiful cry, and that one had hardly any hit points left, and that one dies a horrible death. And then I'm going to move forward past him towards the one I just chucked the... Can I um, knock the javelin that's presumably on under me right now? Because did, did the one in front of me pull the javelin out and throw it to the floor? Yes, he's the one that uh, will bond and peel through the leg. Could I uh, tap the javelin that is on the floor back? Yeah, yeah, you can either give us a, as a, a kick attack or a dex times five just to roll it back to Wilbon. Okay, Why not? We'll do... Sounds awesome. There we go. Yeah. Okay, Will Bond, your javelin comes rolling back to to your feet as Kane back heals it to you. I shall grab it up as quick as I can. Uh, Does that need a roll of any kind? No, it'll just take five straight ranks. Uh, Kane, you're done. Crodan is unconscious. Sorry, Earl, you're just sitting there bleeding. Light, <laughs> light. In- I'm used to it. He's really good at it. In- <laughs> inches Still. from falling to your death, being ground into a fine paste. Uh, <laughs> Quack Tavish, you're up next. Right, it's going to be that troll in in front of me again. Right, it looks plainly in your eyes. And, <laughs> and, and it's put me right off. I'll, so he I'll did leave. put you off, Andy. Yes, he's put he put me right off. I took pity on him for some strange reason. <laughs> so you feel like it, like me, <clears throat> Andy. This is where he gets you back and crits you in the face. I uh, probably. He hits in the abdomen for seven damage. A weak hit, but a palpable one. I think we'll uh, we'll have to hurry that with a shield. You just swat this weak blow out of the way. There's one next to Kane who can attack Kane only because he's been told to. He succeeds. He hits you on the foot. He, he takes a bad swing at you, misjudges it, and hits you on the foot. I'll not move. I just look at him. <laughs> right, there's a sort of really? a, a weak bronze clunk. Kane looks down at his foot. The Trollkin's club is still on his foot. He looks up, looks at the Trollkin, the Trollkin looks up at Kane. It's all like that. <laughs> right, Blondel. He'll shoot the Tusk Rider right at the back. Blondel, a failure, right? As arrow zips overhead, narrowly missing the Tusk Rider's head. Will Bond, you grab your javelin, you can throw it at the end of the round if you want. You can shoot yeah, over the top of Quack Tavish, so you can hit that Trollkin that's in front of Quack Tavish, which is. The... I might like the move instead. Yeah. Okay. Then no problem. You move. Get a better shot. You can stab using your skill with your javelin, so you could stab that Trollkin if you wanted. This round. Yeah, at the end of the round. Uh, okay, I shall go for that. Bobbin, King of Disruptions. So the Trusk Riders have actually killed more Trollkin than you have, I think. I'm gonna. <laughs> Step forward. Well, Bobbin's going to step forward and cast another speed dot on because he believes in him. We believe in your Blondel. Have some speed dot action. It succeeds. Your your arrow gleams with unholy light. All right, McLovin. Gives him a thumbs up as well. Yeah, Bobbin gives you the. How thumbs many up. points is that? It adds fifteen percent to your chance to hit and three points to your damage. Okay, McLovin, you are... Oh, I'm lost. Okay. So are you going to try and invoke a different aspect of passion? <laughs> no, no. Because you can't do movement again because you've flubbed it. Right, okay then. Um... Anybody think this is a, a good idea? Because I certainly don't. No, it's a great idea. It is a fantastic idea. I mean, it worked out so great for real. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad plan, I have to admit. Sorry, go ahead, it's Percy's turn. Right, your illusion rune. So, believing the fall is not there, you believe that the ground is solid on the other side and there's no drop. <laughs> so you leap up and sprint across. So you can move, four and still attack. Or if you wanted to run along and jump onto the other side of the bridge, you wouldn't be able to attack, but you would then have solid footing at the back. Yeah. Right. Can I have a dex times five roll, please? As you sprint across the bridge, landing behind this Tusk Rider here, or are you trying to Look land? My life. Okay. Right. Well, you did get a plus, didn't he, from the illusion? He did. You've got a plus 
twenty percent. So it exactly <laughs> works. Right. <laughs> exactly. So you run right. a, you run across you you invoke the power of the trickster not believing there's an actual drop, an illusory ground spreads out either side of you. So you're running along quite quite calmly believing that there's no drop there. You get right at the end and then your foot goes through as you almost slip off and you're like, whoa, and then the, the illusion <laughs> of the illusionary floor disappears as you, you just manage to jump round at the back. Um, Good enough. The only reason you have been hacked to pieces on the way past is they're like, we've seen it once, we can't believe they're going to do it again. <laughs> However, now it's Trollkin. I believe in you, Trollkin. You can hit Andy. No, you can't. Uh, we have a Trollkin next to Kane. Failed. Right, this one's rattled. He's the one that hit you on the foot last time. And then finally we have... Tusk Riders. Uh, this Tusk Rider turns and comes at you, Brazy. Rude. Swinging his mighty broadsword. If he drops you in one hit to the head again, I will absolutely piss myself. I swear to God. <laughs> right. He swipes out with a mighty swash. <laughs> I do a tent to the head. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Go on, dodge. So close! Oh, right! You whip your head out the way just in time, almost losing a piece of earlobe. I'm ten almost had two people to rescue. <laughs> that would have been epic, epic. The next next round, <laughs> Rowan's like, I wonder if I can run around all of <laughs> all of the. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. End of round. Will Bond, you have your javelin. You roll a normal spear attack. Special man, look at him. S 16 to the left leg. The, the top. Kid is. No. <laughs> well, John. <laughs> I know. Lucky day. Trotter desperately tries to dodge, sees this coming in at slow motion straight towards his leg, winces, closes his eyes, rolls his 29% dodge. Succeeds! He succeeds! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only a normal success, not a special success. So he almost gets his leg out of the way and then Paddy skewers him like a shish. <laughs> For just a second, you see hope flash in the Trollkin's eyes as he pulls his leg to one side. Paddy just stabs him straight through the leg. Right, well, in that case, uh, that Trollkin died. He topples backwards, Paddy. Your javelin is impaled in him. As he falls yes. over the bridge, you need to roll half your weapon skill to pull it out of him before he takes it over the bridge with him. I uh, invoke the uh, honour of my clan. You can, because it would be an, a terrible shame if a, if you lost a spear because a truck and dragged it over a cliff. So roll your passion first. You fail, so you've got minus 10 on your skill... <laughs> so I've got 12 percent oh, cool. yeah you've got half your skill minus 10 percent okay the truck and topples over the bridge Dead. jump on the end of the javelin at the last second to stop with going I'll give you a power times one roll a look roll to see if you can actually do it it yanks it out of your hand will bond and slowly Michael beer style falls over the edge of the bridge towards the grinding rocks you slam your flipper down on the bridge, just missing the edge of the javelin, and the, the javelin is carried over the edge. So we've lost a shield and a javelin now over the edge. Damn it. Round four, Kane. Next now, target. Now you bring the pin. Yeah, now we get to kill this one in front of it. He stands on one leg, spits blood at you defiantly. You chop him in the right arm. He attempts to parry with his shield. God damn it. You give me so much... Death. So much, so much hope. Uh, medium shield absorbs twelve. So yes, you, yeah. you skit it harmlessly off his shield. He grins at you, blood running down his face. I don't I'll know shrug and look around him at all the dead things, and then look at him really questioningly. Like I'm just trying not to use rune magic on these. Really, I'm being really greedy. Croden, are you still happy to lie there and bleed? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. And, and, Quite. Quite tavish of all the flaming sword. Right, I shall take a step forward. Can I have a swing at that Tusk Rider? Yeah, of course you can. If he hits, he get a minus 20 on his parry. Oh, yeah, that succeeds. Right, well, it's minus 29 on his parry because you have 109%. So. 
It'd be a shame if he's taken damage. No way. No way. Andy, by some miracle, even with his penalties, he, he gets the edge of the shield on the fire blade, which scorches a dark line of charcoal across the shield. He grins, having stood up to Hugh Humanities. He's like, at the end of this fight, I would be famous among my tribe. I who took on two Humanities and lived. I mean, no, he no. has to get back to his tribe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it'll be dead. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Get ahead of yourself. Uh, a miss on Andy. Blondel of Svenstown. I shall, uh, yeah, the rainmost tusk rider again try. You can have a bonus of 10% because he's turned his back on you and he is focused on chopping McLovin. Success, the arrow flies true. Uh, sticks in his right arm, disabling his right arm. But you see, he's, it's, the tusk rider's got his broadsword raised for a, a st- Kill and blow above you, but an arrow sticks through his bicep when he drops his sword. Great, just heavy. Will Bond. Well, I could have a slightly pathetic go with a sling. I can't reach anyone with a melee weapon, can I? Not at the moment, no. You, exactly. The only one you've got a chance of hitting without hitting anybody else is you can shoot over the top of Andy and hit that talking in front of him. Cause he's, okay, I'll go for that. He's a wee fella. Oh, well. Lucky. Oh, it's a fumble. Oh, no. Lose next parry. Okay, so you you whip it around your head, but just as you're about to release, you were let go of the stone and it bonks you on the end of the nose, distracting you and making you unable to parry this next round. <laughs> Bob on. Oh. Who's he disrupting now? It's just like the disrupt machine gun. I think I've speed darted a couple of times. That's true. That is true. Yeah, but we're we'll doing another speed dart. The disrupts ain't good enough, okay? We're gonna speed dart me way to victory. Here we go. Alright, Dave, you still got another speed dart on you? McLovin at the back there. The orc's dropped his sword, but it looks like he's gonna attempt to either bite you or smash you in the face with his shield. The pace. He takes a swing. You miss! Uh, the Tusk Rider laughs at you. Troll King versus Andy. Uh, success. Five hit on the abdomen. Uh, it probably I doesn't even get through your wet armor. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so it just bonks off your armor. You don't even have to parry if you don't want to. No, I'm not even going to bother parrying that. All right, Tusk Rider attempts to shield bash you. And fails. Epic. Boink. End of round. New round, Kin. Oh, attempt to kill him again. We just need to kill him, kill him harder, you know? Yeah. Well, I've, I missed, so I'm going to kill him. Are you still only 92%? I thought you were above 100. No, I'm not. Well, I'm technically 94, because I, I keep forgetting to roll on the thing, but I only got 94. Oh, I think. Only 94, yeah. Huh? All right. You, you were just... I'm not very successful with the ticks with it. I haven't succeeded one in a while. You're shockingly bad. So you swing wide, he doesn't even try and parry that one. He just laughs at you. Again, the Tusk Rider that stood against two humanities. Rodan's a bleeding. Quack Tavish. Ah, uh, the Tusk Rider again. Success. The fire blade is not working in your favour at night. Fucking All right. And he, again, he turns the, turns it aside with the parry of his shield. It's just, he's showing you up. Two Q Magnus. He's, he's like Samuel L. Jackson in The Long Kiss and Night. He's like, You can't kill me, motherfuckers! You can't kill me! Trolkin. No. Blondel. You've got Speed Dart on again. Right. Can I use a rune to increase my chance of hitting? Yes, you can. I'll go all Zen, so I'll use my Harmony rune. Okay. So you become one with the arrow. So basically, you've got the arrow. You do that thing where you grab it at like, one end and you, you run your fingers along it and and little crackles run along it. Close your eyes. You take your aim. You get plus 20%, so there's another bonus of 20% on it. Right, you you close your eyes. The world goes quiet. You take a deep breath, and you fire. Hurrah! Success in the left and leg. 10 damage, point. right. The arrow sinks deep into the tusk rider, and it falls dead at Bracey's feet. Will bond. Yeah, I'll just have to fling a sling. Sadly, you fail. Sorry, mate. Bobbin. Um, 
bomb is going to disrupt the uh, one that thinks he's all. He thinks he's all that. Well, he has. He has. Oh, I'm going to fail because he is all that. He is God all that. You need to knock him unconscious and recruit him. He's like, I'm. I'm the Tusk Rider that can take on two humanities. Yeah, boy. McLovin, you're up next. Right, I will move down one and I will heal Crodan. I will not roll over when I come to. He, he reaches down and misses. <laughs> 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 right, so you, you reach out, you gently caress, <laughs> you gently caress <laughs> Crodan's forehead. Nothing happens, you're expecting the sparkle of magic. So then you slap him on the head. Then you slap him on the head a bit harder. You slap him three or four times on the head. To say, Why is this thing not working? <laughs> This game, man. All right, Trollkin. Oh, God. I feel sorry for him now because he's, <laughs> he's going to hit Andy and Andy's going to just obliterate him. Yeah, he hits you on the left arm. You, your small shield is on the left arm, so it's, it doesn't even penetrate your shield. He looks worried. He should. Uh, right, Humact Killer. This takes a swing at you, Kane, because he is now massively confident and he succeeds doing nine damage to the left leg. I'll try and get parry. Take. I mean, I'll try and parry. He can't get through your armor, can he? I mean, I'm getting a parry take. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so you, you easily scoop his blow aside with your shield. End of round, Kane's. Oh, God, I'm getting sick of this guy, man. <laughs> right, Just... he does, you know, the Neo from right. the Matrix, the, uh, the gesture, like, come on, kind of gesture at you. He's, oh, he's... Five damage. How, why do I roll so low? He's now... It is a head hit, though. He's now is, but massively overconfident. And he succeeds in the parry. I hate him. He's... I hate him with a passion. Your god is weak. Your god is so weak. As he, he flicks aside, Kane's now rattled. He's got performance anxiety. <laughs> Crodan. Crodan, sadly, you weren't revived this round, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Uh, Quacktavish. I like right. Tusk Rider again. 11 in the right arm. Ooh. Hey, parry it, man. Andy, he misses the parry. You stab him in the right arm for 11 damage. Oh, it's un- it's well enough to put him down that. He, he looks at you all victorious and then looks down and realises he's missed the parry and the, the, he's got a sword sticking in him. Uh, he sort of, like, looks shocked and then slumps to the floor, dead. My next turn is going to be spent kicking his corpse off the edge of the <laughs> I, oh, In that case, just for the satisfaction, I'm going to leave the body so he hasn't fallen off the Thank bridge. He's just, he just lies there. Trollkin sees this, goes to turn round, but the Tusk Rider behind him stabs the Trollkin in the back, doing a point. Oh, does a point of damage to the Trollkin. So mean. All right, the Trollkin has actually taken a wound from his old side and then decides to swing at Andy after being stabbed. We should start implementing this practice. If people start messing right. up, you just start like jabbing them. <laughs> just... <laughs> you just give them a bridge and they'll run across it, man. <laughs> Blondel, you're up, mate. I'm going to do the Zen thing again. So are you? You've already done it. So as long as it's within the same combat for the same type of action, you've automatically got that bonus. So you can use it for repeated attacks. And then once this combat's over, you can't use it again until you. Worship or whatever the hell it is. She'll go for the remaining Tusk Rider. You missed the head. Right, Will Bond. Uh, well, I guess we're slicking again. Success! Uh, and, and, and another tick. Uh, he does a, a, quite a strong hit. Uh, the poor creature drops its club as its arm no longer works. It's trying to back away, but unfortunately, even though it's unarmed, they're not going to let it back away. Bob on the machine gun. When it did the voice of this, it'll be like, not to be outdone by Crodan's attempt at suicide. McLovin decided that he would attempt to throw himself off the bridge as well. Oh. Right, go on. Poor Crodan's been unconscious almost this entire fight. Not yeah. the first time. Bob on. Um... I'll speed that because I felt bad. There you go. <laughs> Let's speed that again. <laughs> if you've got speed that again. And he's, oh, and he's going to use his movement to cheer him on. You know, he's generally just going to be his hype man, you know. Yeah. You can do it, Blunder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. McLovin, you're up again. You, you tap 
tapping Crawden on the forehead, expecting something to happen. Nothing's been happening. Yay! I'm alive! Right. I would have loved it if he failed again. <laughs> Healing magic flows into Crawdan's head, and the sword Yay. wound begins to close, and you gain two hit points back. Is, is it healing to you, Catherine? No. Is it more? Uh, I've only got healing one, so... Uh, right, well, you were... Oh, no, sorry, I've got me heal two. Yeah, I'll put two points in. Crodan, you groggily come round. Your legs are half hanging off the side of the crevasse above the giant grinder. This wasn't the best plan, mate. Like. I'll roll back onto the, uh, the bridge and stand up and then look at the combat to see what's going on. Even more pathetically, Andy, the Trollton tries to swing unarmed at you, hitting for two damage. Uh, it, it wiggly thuds against your hardened leather armour. Hey, poor little boy. Which direction is it facing? The one that's alive, it's trying to get it, Kane. Oh. The Tusk Rider steps forward on top of the one who's lying on the bridge. We'll... Oh, and get a double. Yes. And he stabs at you with a broadsword cane. Look at you. Ten damage to the right leg. Uh... Isn't that the exact same roll? It made is. That? Again, that's... just by the skin of your teeth, you parry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do get another shot. That was the only one I could get at, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, one damage. It, even though it has very poor skin and armour, it, it doesn't manage to hurt it in, in any way. And it is new round. It is Kane facing the last of the Tusk Riders. Yeah. The, the Trogging are trying to get away. The Tusk Riders are strangely psychotic. They, they seem to be fighting to the death. And torturing the small Tolkien as well. It's another. I think that will be. Yeah, I, I missed because I didn't roll on my character sheet, but yeah. I am. Well, do you know what that, that is? That teaches I, you a fucking lesson, doesn't it? That teaches us to have to use the character sheet instead of. Okay. You know. Crawdan, you groggily stagger to your feet. Uh, behind the remaining one and stab it right between the shoulder blades with my. Sp I will. Well, uh, I've took three steps. I will focus using my death rune. Okay. Roll that death rune there, baby. Roll the death rune. You frown and your eyes turn dark. Your lip curls and in a snarl. I am going to put my spear right between your shoulder. I'm literally, you know, when you line something up, you're like, eh, 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 there. Yeah. Bang. Eight damage to the left leg. This one is uninjured, but it's considerably more injured now. It takes. It grunts as it takes a wound in the leg. Okay, you stab it. It doesn't do extra damage because it's not a full troll. Rewalen, you're up. Hey, I shall have a bash at that tusk rider, who seems to have popped up quite handily. Eight on the abdomen. He attempts to parry with his shield because these are not frightened of no humanities now. They're like, Pff. success. T easy. Yeah, Turns right. your fire plate aside. Ah, blonde love swims down. You are harmoniously staring down the arrow. Right, so we are running out of time. Okay, so basically you, you finish off these three. There's no point in just rolling for it and miss all the time. How do you how do you finish them off? Just start throwing them off the bridge, to be honest. Because that seems to be the most logical. You separate them and you force them off the bridge as they plummet into the grinding the, the grinding the morass below. So... For the nighttime finale, you cross the bridge finally, and the last room on this part of the dungeon opens into a plain walled room with two statues standing either side of a blank wall. Now, the blank wall has what looks like a door frame in it, but it's just blank stone. About 10 seconds later, an enormous face forms out of the stone of the wall between the two statues. And it says, You're doing great. I'm really enjoying this. And that's where we end it tonight. <laughs>